Hi, I'm Joe Ravita from Empire Music, EmpireMusic.com in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are Taylor Guitars online preferred dealer. One of only about like 20, I think 20 or 25 in North America. So we bring you the greatest Taylor guitars, including all the new releases. It's like this brand new, super new Taylor AD12ESB. It's part of the American Dream Line. Now, what do we know about the American Dream Line? It was introduced over the last couple years during our favorite uh, period of time, COVID, like, and just there wasn't lots of new stuff coming out. And Taylor wanted to bring to market a really high quality US built, all solid wood line that was more affordable when, than the, what they were offering. And the American Dream series was born. What's great about these guitars is you get everything you get in premium price range, Taylor's, you get V-class bracing, you get all solid wood, you get expression system two, you get all the good stuff. You get a really beautiful guitar. This, I mean, this, this is a really beautiful finish, but you do save some bucks, which is cool because it is a little bit more subdued. You get an amazing arrow case with these guitars. As you know, what separates Empire Music is, number one, we take individual photos of each of these guitars. So if we have it in stock and it's on our website, it's listed with the photos, the one you'll get exactly as well as we do full factory setups on each instrument. So once you select an instrument from us, we go to our text and we dial it in exactly as Taylor would intend it to come off their final assembly line through a final inspection. So you get the best playing experience from us. So the AD12 is cool because it's a grand concert and um, there wasn't a grand concert in the American Dream Line. It was, Dreadnought, Slope Shoulder Dreadnoughts 17 series, and it was the Grand Theater models, the you know the 11s. Um, the Grand Concerts are my favorite Taylor guitars. It just to me, it's just like I've always think they've just spoken to me personally. I, th I love the way they feel when you're sitting with them. They're just so comfortable. Um, they're still very boisterous. It gives you plenty of dynamic range in my experience. Um, obviously, if you're very heavy-handed, you're going on a little bit bigger guitar. And they do make an AD 17 E SB, which I'm going to be doing a video on here shortly after which would be the slope shoulder dreadnought version of this guitar. Um, what's cool about the Grand Concert, you get a 24 and 7 eighths scale length. So from here to here, that's your scale length from your nut to your saddle. And that shorter scale gives us a little bit more slink. So it's a little bit easier to play. It also means that the neck isn't as far away. So if we want something that is close to us, it makes playing that first position easier for us, bar chords easier. Great, and then the shorter scale also kind of warms the guitar up a touch because you know if you think about the strings being uh, pulled tightly, as far the farther it goes, the the tighter it's going to get and brighter it's going to get. By leaving it a little bit slinky, it gives it a little bit more um, earthiness, a little bit more warmth. The wood combination on this is awesome because it's Sitka spruce, which is you know kind of the preeminent top choice for acoustic guitars today, and walnut back and sides and you see it's satin mahogany neck um the satin finish feels great taylor actually makes a satin polish if you're ever worried about that walnut is misunderstood walnut is one of those woods that um i think could have a much larger place in today's acoustic guitar building um it's very um full sounding it gives you kind of like that warmth of a rosewood, that thud of a rosewood on the bottom end, but it's not as scooped out. It's not as sparkly at the top. It's more balanced. So it's a really lush, it's really like a fat koa, which I think is uh, a probably a great way to describe it. And I think, you know, obviously it's not a traditional tone wood in the, in the sense of in the 1940s and 50s, builders weren't using walnut and no one played a walnut guitar probably at Woodstock. So it doesn't have a, a you know, it's a more modern choice. And, you know, Taylor finds really pretty versions of it. I think sometimes walnut can be just almost like opaque or gray, which is kind of maybe, maybe part of the reason people don't gravitate to it. But I love it sonically. I think it's a great choice um, for a guitar like this because it gives it the fullness that we want, but we still keep our balance. What's Taylor known for? To me, note separation, individual string voicing is Taylor's, I think, greatest sonic feat. And it feels amazing, the action's crazy low, I and mean, they're just easy to play when they're set up properly. So we get it all set up for you to make sure you experience that. And then you'll get to hear what I think is, again, like Taylor's characteristic. A lot of times people say, oh man, Taylor's are bright. And I always kind of balk at that because, um, you know, 
if you've ever played a dreadnought rosewood guitar made by any brand, you know, it might have more bass, but that top end will sometimes sizzle and be really brash. And that's just kind of how, you know, so that could be bright. It's, it's a subjective thing. What you're really hearing in a Taylor guitar is high definition clarity. And each uh, note is getting its own ability to sing, which as a person playing guitar, we should want that. We should want the instrument to be reflecting what we're doing. So if we're doing light hammer-ons or you're trying to voice a chord a certain way, we don't want those notes to be lost because guitar is incapable of letting that particular string or section of the guitar be heard. So, you know, Taylor, you really get incredible, and I think the best in market note separation, at, you know, across the board. So as you know, in my videos, what I like to do, dynamic range, and I like to do uh, balance. So, you know, on a guitar like this, dynamic range, it's a grand concert. So it's not gonna be as massive sounding as a bigger guitar, but for this shape of guitar, I think it performs uh, really, really well. It handles itself great. Uh, the, the balance note separation is Taylor's game, so it will succeed through that. So let's check it out and see what you think. <laughs> The balance, the middle of the guitar is voiced exquisitely. I mean, I think it's the balance is as good as you can get on, on any instrument. It's really, really nice. The dynamic range on this instrument, as you feel, is kind of like as we start to pound into it, it starts to resist, right? So for someone like me, and I feel like most of our end users, most customers that we deal with, right? Most players that come to the shop, most of us aren't hammering the guitar. But if you do play aggressively, I think this is like the singer-songwriter guitar. Like the, if you're writing songs, you're playing and singing, you're accompanying yourself, what's great about it is it gives you the fullness. But since it doesn't have this just unending output, we can sing over it without having to shout, right? You know, it's just like sometimes the guitar is almost too powerful for us to sing acoustically with. You won't have that. You'll get it centered. And I think other instruments, like this instrument will cut through other instruments. This will be heard with other instruments, including your voice. So it really will still fill a room, you know, in, in the right circumstance. Again, if you're in that last 10% of people that really like, you know, your smallest guitar is a J200, you know, this is not gonna be where <laughs> you wanna live. But for the rest of us who are dying for uh, clarity, ease of play, a really fullness, and then an instrument that's gorgeous and has a lot of player features. I mean, the neck shape of Taylor is really comfortable. This has rolled chamfered edges, which is very comfortable on your, you know, your arms. You don't feel it. It's just, it's a beautiful sounding instrument. The electronics package is the same as a fifteen thousand dollar Taylor guitar. So you get all these pro features in at um, a really good entry point for a USA all solid wood guitar. So today, I'm glad that you got to hear the Taylor AD twelve ESB American Dream. 12 ESB, solid Sitka spruce top, solid walnut back and sides. This has, it comes in a tobacco sunburst finish. Um, just a really, really beautiful guitar. V-Class bracing, Taylor Expression System 2, and arrow case included. Most importantly, 
we do a full factory setup. So you will not get a better playing Taylor guitar in the country. We're gonna send you the most dialed in, ready to go out of the box guitar. You can check them out, redempiremusic.com. You can chat with us through the site and call us. We're glad that we wanna to talk to you for sure. Uh, get you all fixed up. We have financing options, of course. Professionally package the instrument and we'll deliver you a world-class Taylor experience right here at Empire. So I'm Joe from Empire Music and EmpireMusic.com in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with the Taylor AD12 ESB. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see more of our content or reach out to us about anything Taylor guitars right through our site or at 412-343-5299. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.